Hi, my name is Danielle Dockery. Today, I had an application that was presented to me for one of my customers. They had a desire to be able to measure bending loads as well as axial, which implies tension and compression. They sent an image to us that they found online, and as you can see, there are a couple of gauges that are aligned, one in the vertical direction and one horizontally, and they're showing you from this image that you can pull on this and get a response, and you can bend it as shown on the right-hand side and still get a response. So when I saw this application, the first thing I thought was, why not try to gain a little more sensitivity and just do this as a completed full bridge circuit? So when I started to look around, I noticed that we actually had such a thing, a full bridge design properly laid out with solder pads waiting for input from power and signal to go to the instrumentation. So all they needed to do was take advantage of this full bridge pattern, bond it to the same kind of substrate that they were planning to use, and they should be able to register both bending and axial loads at the same time. There can be lots of applications for this. One example might be touching a screen and trying to figure out the particular position that you're touching, uh, and many others as well. But in this particular application, what we're going to use is a simple DAC that we have called the student DAC that is connected to the laptop here. And from there, I'm going to take a beam that is currently using one of these full bridge circuits that I just showed. We've got two of them bonded here and here. And when I start this application, scanning and zoom in so we can see the signal I can simply pull on this and you can see on the screen a response due to me pulling and if I take one hand off and push it you also get a bending response so you can clearly see that these sensors this full bridge design is responsive to both bending and axial conditions thank you